Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Oh, what was that? One date Jupiter Sagittarius has come out. Fantastic. There is a very positive shift into a new direction, a new focus coming in. And with Jupiter coming in, it wants to expand this. It wants to create an expanded opportunity that could kind of, you know, with the Sagittarius energy, it's it's got this sense of adventure and freedom coming in with it. We've also got Sword 3 Uranus Libra and Pentacle King Taurus Crown reversed. So Pentacle King reversed. Okay, so Cancer, I just need to let you know that this reading is for Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising and always um, recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know them because this gives you the fuller picture of what's going on for you. And it's a general reading, Cancer, just take what feels right, leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading and the link for that is in the description box below. And just also letting you know that I've opened up for personal readings. I don't know for how much longer, but if you're interested in that, then um, the link for that is also in the description box below. Okay, so this is actually a sense of uh, the Queen of Wands has come. There's lots happening here. Lots of, it's all happening at once for you, Cancer. It's like something has wounded you in terms of what you've needed, something that you thought was long-term and it wasn't, um, something that you thought was built to last and it didn't for whatever reason, something you thought was stable that didn't work out or something that you thought that um, that you really, really need that you haven't actually got or it didn't happen or work out for whatever reason. So there's this really, really positive shift coming in around that. And it's kind of really interesting um, in terms of like um, overcoming that or in terms of like turning that around um, in some way. So the Queen of Wands, and this could have been something where you felt very unaligned. It's sort of like it's it's kind of put you a bit out of yourself um, so that you weren't really feeling yourself. And this Eight of Wands is an energy, and they, keep, they kept saying this from the start of the reading, it's like coming home again. It's like coming back home to where you feel comfortable, home to yourself kind of energy. So that's what it is. It feels like, okay, I've come back after there was this little period where I felt really out of sorts or I felt like I just wasn't getting what I needed. So that that's kind of interesting because we've got the Queen of Wands as the kind of main energy coming out here as a situation, which is saying, okay, now you're trying to broadcast out there what it is that you want. Um, so uh, this is from an in internal energy, but it's a sense of vibes speak louder than words with the Queen of Wands, and it's like, okay, now I know what hasn't been working for me or what I've been missing and now I'm going to go out and find it and I there's a sense that you're at the right frequency now but we're going to see what's blocking you and look, get the full picture. But the Queen of Wands has just come out by herself for the moment um, because she's she's kind of like I'm working out what it is that I want. I'm working it out and there's this sense of once I work that out, I'm going to get it. I'm going to work out how to get it. So, yeah, interesting energy to come through. A lot of fire with the Sagittarius, Jupiter and the Queen of Wands because we are in Aries season. So this reading is for the heart of Aries season. Aries is all about initiation, taking action. Uh, and the Queen of Wands is sort of saying, you know, I'm looking to what it is that I want. I feel a positive shift, but I'm not ready to celebrate just yet. The Death Card, a big transition and change coming in. The Four of Swords, mindset shift. The King of Pentacles, okay. So you, you've got this King of Pentacles coming in twice, which is this Taurian energy. And it's kind of like uh, it was okay for a while, you had what you needed for a while, but there's something recently is kind of it's flipped and it feels like it's kind of um, perhaps you're know, getting a lot of clarity coming in. Something's shifted and changed with it. Um, so and it may have been that you were looking for that externally and now you realize you need to find uh, what you need internally. But we'll have a look. What else is coming? I love this. Eight of Wands, this is you. You're ready. You're like, you've shifted. Okay, the two of pentacles, there's something out of balance. Um, three of swords, you don't want this. And that's kind of what's come up as an issue is the wound or being really hurt by something. And wow, the star card, wishes coming true. The star card is feeling so much more hopeful and guided for the future. Fantastic. And the ten of wands, let, releasing a burden. Okay, wow. This feels like such a positive, positive shift for you, Cancer. It's like, ah, oh, breathe a sigh of relief. Okay, this is really nice. The Queen of Wands. Uh, 
we kind of talked about her, uh, this energy. It's not gender specific, um, but it's just an energy of really, really working out now what it is that you really want because something has been lacking, so you've been missing something here, something that you needed. And then it's crossed by the Three of Cups, which actually for some of you it's around socialisation. It's around um, or some kind of um, social event. And it's been crossed by and maybe it, it feels like either you really needed to have some kind of social interaction or you didn't. You didn't need that. You didn't need to do all of that stuff. So interesting with the Three of Cups, yeah, it does mean celebration as well. So it's kind of, um, it can be talking about, you know, you're not ready to celebrate just yet, but it could be that you're looking for people to connect with, like your tribe kind of energy or people that you kind of enjoying having this nice connection um, with. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. In your conscious mind, you've got the death card. So, and what I like about it is a very proactive energy coming in. It's like, okay, see the problem, zoom, shifting and changing. So the death card in your conscious mind, as you can see that there has been potentially the need to, sh a need for a change here. Um, and, you know, the Aries season, it's a cardinal energy and your sign is cardinal. So this is about starting, initiating things. And the death card is kind of interestingly the ending as well. It's, a, it's the birth, the death and the middle all at once. It's a transition, but it's one big cycle that's ending. Something's ending and you're transitioning into the next phase, the next thing that's coming, which actually seems really, really positive. Deep down, you've got the four of swords. So um, this is kind of the root of the issue or something that's been happening deep down inside of yourself. And the four of swords actually represents um, deep taking a, a taking a break of sorts from the wound, from whatever it is that wound has been wounding you and just kind of putting that to rest for a moment and just going, okay, I need to find, I need some rest and recovery for a start, but I also need to kind of work out what's going on here. I need to make sense of this. So it's going deep within to connecting to your inner wisdom, especially uh, the wisdom of your body, but also some of the stories that you've potentially been told or been telling yourself around this about what you needed and how it hasn't been coming through and there was something missing and so it's it connecting in deeply so the queen of wands is like yes I want to know what it, I, I'm working out what I want here but this is more on a um, something deep inside your mind you're reconciling and connecting to and and working it out. So it can represent a mindset shift. Um, I feel like the way that you're thinking about something is going to really shift and change or even the way you're, the lens in which you're perceiving um, what it is that you're, what, this wound around what's been lacking. So kind of interesting in the recent past, we've got the King of Pentacles. So um, this is kind of what I think the issue is that you're working around as well. The King of Pentacles is a Taurus energy. It might even represent a Taurus in your life or someone who has some very Taurian energies. Uh, but the, the King of Pentacles can represent money first and foremost. So there could have been things, um, issues around wounds around money. Um, the King of Pentacles also represents uh, just things that last, things that are well made, things that you really value. So it's those things being provided for and it can represent relationship to your body and your sensuality with your body and the food that you're kind of eating as well. It can also represent your throat. Um, so if it's like there's been something that needed to be said and hasn't been said, so it can can be all of those sort of things, but it feels like there was something that maybe it was something you needed to hear and you didn't get to hear it. So it's just a sense of you're realizing now that, uh, you know, there was something amiss and in the near future, you've got the clarity here of the Ace of Swords of going, okay, I see clearly now that uh, that energy that I was in, what I thought I wanted or thought I needed or where I sought those things before, uh, was there something about that that was hurting me? And so now I'm really looking at what it is that I truly value, what I want for, of substance and stability to be coming in. And there's clarity around with, with this with the Ace of Swords. So this can represent new contracts. And I feel like with the Pentacle King reversed, 
This is contracts even within yourself. It feels like an internal agreement that I don't want to go back there or I don't want to be doing that anymore. So it's kind of interesting, but the Ace of Swords could be that you come up with a really brilliant idea. You go, okay, I can see the problem. Boom. Um, yeah, I, I've come up with this brilliant solution. This is a great idea. And um, I'm ready to step into it. This Eight of Wands, you know, this is very focused energy. This is very direct shift of direction <laughs> um, and can happen quite quickly as well with the eight of wands. So there's a delicate balance to kind of keep everything on course, but it is a sense that you're ready for this shift. You you yourself have shifted and changed and therefore it's going to precipitate this um, in your life. So interestingly, like the two of pentacles, we are looking at the element of earth here. This is the thing that's been out of balance, the element of earth with the two of pentacles and saying it has been a balancing act of some sort. Your energy is possibly being stretched. Uh, so it may be that you're making a decision to let go of something. Um, just say you are, you know, you've, it's to do with your work-life balance or maybe you've got two jobs or maybe you've got like um, a side hustle. It just feels like uh, it's kind of realizing that you maybe you need to cut something out in your of your life as well. But the two of pentacles is it's something in the material realm, like to do with your possessions or your health or your money your career has been out of balance and you've just been kind of juggling it and um, it has potentially with the Three of Swords been hurting you and wounding you. So the Three of Swords does represent um, heartache, it can represent pain, it can represent being really upset, um, it represents the wound, uh, what is wounding us at this moment in time and in the hopes, like this is in the hopes and fears section, I would imagine this is a fear. <laughs> You're not wanting this anymore. Um, so uh, what I love is that it's right above the card of healing, the star. <laughs> it brings healing and replenishment and it brings a sense of hope. So it's kind of like this new direction is like a wish coming or this shift is like a wish coming true. With the star card, it feels like you can kind of get back and get energized again and start um, focusing on things that you really want and things that you really need where it felt like it was the focus was a little bit um, out of balance or a little bit sideways or a little bit stretched. Um, maybe your energy felt a bit stretched. So this is why you're releasing a burden here with the Ten of Wands. It's something has become quite heavy. You know, it, it was like you're carrying this load. Uh, you're carrying um, the weight of um, even expectation that was coming in. Uh, but I do feel like it's like you're letting go of something that you don't need to be taking on. Um, and this can be in terms of, for some of you, in terms of needing to be the provider as well, to be the one that's looking after somebody else or to be the one that's paying all the bills or making sure food's on the table or whatever it is that's coming in. There's a sense of... Uh, you know, I just feel like for some of you, you might there might be a little bit of money management or I don't have the something that's kind of been taking rather than giving to you is being released. So that's kind of the energy that's coming in with the star card. It's such a beautiful um, outcome. So I'm just going to pull you an affirmation, Cancer. Ooh, you've got three have come in. These are the, the messages that the universe wants you to hear. It says, all my relationships are harmonious. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. That's really, really pertinent for what we've been talking about because, uh, you know, here you are creating harmony within your mind. This is also helping create harmony within your heart. And we see that there's a lot of things internally, like with the Pentacle King reversed, that is creating an external energy of prosperity and harmony, which is really nice. We've got... I release all fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. So that's a beautiful one. And this one says, I am willing to change. And I think you can see that in the death card in your conscious mind, the card of change. I'm willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. And I kind of get that. This is your new thoughts, positive and fulfilling. You're being fulfilled by the star. This is willing 
to change because you, here you are with the ace of wands going, boom, I'm heading in that direction. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's really fantastic energy coming through for you, Cancer. So let's pull a charm. Oh, beautiful. We've got the little, uh, it's like a little Cupid praying. So it's like an angel praying as well. So I get, I just got the words, your prayers are being answered. So uh, be aware of what those prayers are. <laughs> so this is a really nice energy to come in because I feel like something is listening. There's an energy of spirit, guardian angels, um, your soul, whoever it is that you're kind of talking to in the spirit realm um, is listening to these these prayers. And so, yeah, it does feel there's an en energy around this of feeling like your prayers are being answered, which is really lovely. So that's it. And um, yeah, that's it, Cancer. So I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to see what's coming in with this Ace of Swords, this clarity that comes through or this gift of a wonderful clear thought uh, and the star card <laughs> what's coming in with this sense of wishes coming true hope for the future uh, you know where is this all going and we're going to look at you know the near future and the future beyond and then we'll get any clarifiers or any extra messages that you need to hear around this and they'll also tune into career money love and relationships and specifically tune into those three areas and focus in and see what's coming through for you so that's all in the extended reading. Would love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below and I usually pin the link to the comments as well. And if this is where we're leaving each other, Cancer, please take care and please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment because that lets YouTube know that you're supporting the content being made on this channel and helps with the growth of the channel. So take care and see you next time.